today we will talk about uh, European Union Horizon uh, AIC Accelerator Program generally. First of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Aydın Özçekic. Uh, I am founder of Botmore Technology. So I am a founder of a startup. Uh, that's why I know general startups problem and it is not easy to find uh, grants or the money uh, as a startup perspective. So today I want to talk about a bit how European Union grants can help us. And uh, I work on this type of grants so long. So I have some knowledge about it. I, I want to share it. Uh, now I want to start with uh, what is the technology readiness level? If you are working in a project, it is so important to understand which grant is okay for you, uh, which grant you should apply. Uh, you have to understand your, your technology readiness level uh, because without this, it's not easy to select which grant is for you. Uh, TRL is developed by NASA. And of course, just a minute. Just a minute, I want to check something. Okay, it's working. Sorry, I want to check my voice. Okay, uh, so TRL is so important, developed by NASA. As you, you see on this uh, graph, the research is one, two, three is the research, research TRL levels, and four, five, six is development, and seven, eight, nine is deployment. Of course, there is detailed definition of this, but basically, if you have a project and in the research area, you have you have tried to understand the concept, you try to develop some experimental proof of concepts, you are in the research area. In the development area, you make some validations on site. This is software or hardware, it's not important. At the end, you have to carry your project uh, to a demo at the end. So uh, after research, this development phase is important because you have to validate your project. And after six, TRL 6, as you see here, deployment is starting. Deployment is to carry your project is operational environment. According to your customer, we will carry your project there. And 8 and 9, and the 8 and 9 is the operational environment, your system actually proven and is working. It's finished, you can say. Of course, uh, please note that TRL is a dynamic thing. Uh, it's not static. For example, you start a project and you come to TRL 9, but of course you have to... Uh, add some new features or you are to, you want to develop new uh, products and of course you are going to again maybe Terra 4 or Terra 3 if you want to go to research again so it's uh, so dynamic but first of all we have to understand this because it's important to understand which grant is suitable for us and which are not you don't want to spend the time for unnecessary applications i think it's important if you want to look details of it i put link here i will share this document with you after the webinar. Uh, now we will continue. Now we will talk about today European Innovation Council. It is brand new brand and Council of European Union. Uh, and this there there's three main uh, grant in this pet. One is AIC Pathfinder. This is uh, between TRL one and three which it is the research and development uh, grant. You can think like that. Uh, it should be emerging breakthrough technology. And uh, generally, uh, three different country, countries, partners come together, three different companies from three different uh, European Union countries come together and develop research and develop a project together. And it's a generous budget, which is 4 million euro. And uh, if you are in the, starting point with an idea of, for in a research and development area, which is a so groundbreaking. Uh, you can apply this, of course, making some uh, collaboration with some partners. You have to create a consortium. And there's a second thing, as you, in, in, as you see, AIC transition. This is the uh, second step of AIC Pathfinder. You can think like that. You, you develop the project in the AIC Pathfinder, and then you carry this project AIC Transition. This is another grant. As you see, this is TRL 3, TRL 5. Now you develop your project, you 
make your search and development your project and in AIC transition you are developing your project really in uh, as a business case so they are supporting it but there is a uh, condition in here you have to finish AIC Pathfinder, then you can apply to AIC transition. So there's a relation between them like that. And of course, maybe you heard about it, AIC Accelerator. This is a very, very uh, famous a grant in the European Union side, which is uh, give uh, support to you at the end of TRL5. What I mean, you have to finish your uh, product at least it should be a, you have to you can make a demo or validation in rela relevant environment you have to finish trl5 to apply this grant it is important to select the product in that point uh it is a huge uh, of course grant with 2.5 million but the good side is you can apply just as a company not you don't need a create a consortium so uh, you have a, a project which has a in tier, you finish TRL5, you now in TRL6, and you can apply this grant and individually. Of course, uh, they are open to small companies, uh, individual startups, but of course the project should be so groundbreaking and so important for Europe. I will give some information about it. I want, I don't want to repeat myself. I give some information about Pathfinder already. Uh, Please note that if you want to go to Pathfinder, you have to make some collaboration with universities, that kind of uh, research and development teams. Just a startup, it's not easy to make all this research and development, and it should be a, a new thing, of course, new innovation, and it should need a huge research and development activity. So if you don't have that kind of project, if you don't create that kind of project, you don't go for AIC Pathfinder. If you can find, yes, it is okay. Just a note, AIC Pathfinder, you can apply. There's no uh, subject limitation. Uh, if what project you are doing is important, it should be just maybe a research and development base, and it should be high tech. And that's OK. You can apply. I talk about AIC transition. I don't want to repeat it. Now, innovation, uh, AIC accelerator program, uh, as I said. Now, there's two things in AIC Accelerator. Uh, one is, I said, grant 2.5 million uh, euro is a, a generous grant. And the other is di direct equity investment. This is up to 15 million euro. This is a huge uh, investment directly coming from, directly coming from the uh, European Union. Uh, the, it is a good thing because European Union make an uh, a agreement collaboration with the ventures, venture capital companies, and they are making directly investment to your company as an investor. And this is very, very interesting because you can reach a lot of money using this, this channel. Just I want to give a, a note there, it's important. Uh, UK companies are eligible for this grant, but not eligible for equity investment. In other words, if you are a UK company, you can go to direct to grant, which is 2.5 million euro. It's not a problem, but you don't go to equity investment because it is uh, generated by European Union. And now because of Brexit, unfortunately, UK companies can't uh, enter this financial relation. Uh, you can apply as a single company, as I said, no need to consortium. Yeah, you, should, you, should you should have a project that has reached TRL6, you should be an SME, uh, it's important, of course. And SME definition is you have to have fewer than 250 employees and turnover should less than 50 million euro. If you, have, if you are eligible as a SME, you can apply. Of course, you should have an innovative project, uh, which has a significant, significant impact in European Union ecosystem. What I mean, it is so tricky because uh, um, in a point, your project should create a huge value at the end in the European Union. It can be, it can be in different industries, in different. Uh, it can be software, hardware, or other things. It, not, it is not important, but at the end, it should create a value for European Union, and you should show it because they are, they will make a huge investment to you. Uh, it should be minimum uh, 0.5 million euro and the maximum 2.5 million euro. 
uh, range as a grant. So they want to see concrete benefits of your project for the European Union. Uh, so it's critical. You, you should understand that uh, it's not easy to take this project. I will give some information uh, about it. But it's, a, it's an interesting process uh, to try your uh, idea, try your project in that kind of grant application, I think, uh, as an experience, of course. Uh, there is no limitation about the topic, as I said before, uh, but if you have uh, health technologies, digital and health technologies, there, there is a different call just for these technologies, and you can apply it, and there is an advantage there. So if you are a product or project about digital and health technologies or Green Deal innovation uh, for economic recovery, these two topics are selected by European Union, and they are they have different application, the same application process, but different evaluation processes. And it is cool because they, it, there's an advantage there for the selection. Uh, and of course, this accelerated program uh, grant is financing just 70% of total project cost. You are, you are saying that we, we will spend that kind of money for this project to carry it to TRL 8. So you have to finance 30% of, of this cost. And the uh, European Union, of course, and the all, uh, all evaluators should want to know how you will finance this 30%. Uh, this is important for, for them because uh, in other, uh, on the contrary, if you couldn't uh, finance 30%, the project can fail. So it's important you, you have to show that how you, uh, fulfill 30% finance. And other important thing, which is important for, for European Union, is non-bankability. Uh, it is a, important because you have to show the evidence that the applicant company cannot leverage sufficient investments from the market, or particularly for applicant companies requesting blending final support, evidence that the applicant company is deemed non-bankable by the market. What does it mean? If you can find money without uh, European Union support, uh, they want they don't want to give you money. So they want to see that your project is perfect, but it is risky, and you can't find uh, credit from bank or uh, easily you can't find easily a venture investment. So you need that kind of support from European Union. You have to show that this is important because a lot of projects are eliminated because of they are they have good projects but they are so popular topics and they can find money from different sources so why do you come to european union grants we want to they want to spend their money to make risky things uh, to make risky things real and the success rate this is unfortunately success rate is too low uh, because the, this is below, below one person success rate now. Uh, in AIC Accelerator, they, they make a pilot application process in no October 2020 and 4,200 full applications submitted and only 38 funded. I think we should know that at the beginning, it is important. If you are applying that kind of grant, you should be aware of the uh, success rate. Of course, the success rate can change. Uh, it shouldn't be like maybe increased, but it shouldn't be 10% on 20%. So we should understand that this is so a uh, competitive grant. But uh, uh, I applied and my uh, friends are applied uh, for a long time, that kind of uh, uh, grants. And it, I think it is good to take feedbacks in that stage from the European Union, and you are learning a lot of things. I think it's a good process. Uh, you, can you can look like that. Now I want to explain a bit the process, how the process is going on. It's changed new, so it's a new process. I want to explain a bit. Now, in the first step, you are preparing a short application. What is the short application? In the first phase of the application, you don't need to work on complete business plan. You will just prepare three things for this initial step. One, answering short set of questions about your innovation and your team. This is like five pages, and it is like a filling form, not a, a real business plan. 
And second thing, you need a slide deck, which is 10 slides. Maybe you, you have already have. And third thing is three minutes video pitch. You are just telling your project in three minutes. This is so easy application for the short application. And after sending your application, four evaluators uh, will work on it and give a decision. There is go or no go decision. Uh, so if two, uh, two evaluators say go, you will move to next stage. Otherwise, you will turn back to initial stage. And you will you have to make a, again short application, but uh, there is a one important thing. If you take two times no go decision, you have to wait twelve months to apply again. Uh, this is an important case. Whatever, if you go finish your short application and uh, you send it, and if the four evaluators, two of the four evaluators uh, say go, you are going to full application. Uh, for application is detailed, detailed business plan you are giving using the feedbacks in the first step. I think it is cool because in the short application, they are giving some feedbacks about your project. They are saying these points are good, these points are not good. And so I think it's good for your business plan. And you are making some modifications on the business plan and you are making your full application with your business plan. Then, of course, there is an, a, another evaluation process. It is a bit hard, harder to... Uh, to win in that point because it takes eight weeks and there, there will be three evaluators and three of them should say go should give go decision for you so you have to take three of three uh, judge's opinion positive opinion but if you can do that you are going to interview and interviews are now online but uh, maybe after covid it will start uh, they will continue to, to do it in Bruxelles. And uh, generally, it is interesting because the interview is not just coming from the U European Union Commission's people. There are people from uh, ventures. So there is an interesting combination. And there is uh, an interview not, not longer than 40 minutes. It, it, 10 minutes, you are making a presentation. And 30 minutes, questions and answers to clarify aspects for, of the proposal. There will be no preset question. So in that point, there is a three decision, possible decision. You can, they can first reject you. They can say, okay, no, this is not, uh, we don't want to fund this. And you may resubmit an improved, improved full proposal for the evolution. And the second thing is they, they can reject, but they can say that, oh, this is a good project. And it, it is a potential, high potential. So if you do these improvements in your business plan, we can accept it. You can apply directly to interview again. Uh, they can give that kind of decision. And of course, there is a second rejection uh, option. That, that what, is, what does it mean? Uh, you, have, you take first rejection, you apply it again, and you take second rejection. Again, you have to may, may wait 12 months for a new short application. And after the interview, if it is, uh, going well, you are going to uh, allowance, due diligence, and equity investment parts. Uh, if you In the application, starting point application, uh, it will be asked to you, do you want to just go for the grant only, or you want to go a blended finance? What is the blended finance? You can take the grant plus equity investment. Of course, you are a uh, European Union uh, Member, it's not a problem. For the UK companies, you can just go to grant only option. There is no equity investment. But at the end, you have to make a due diligence like a and equity investment part. You if you can go and take the money uh, in that point. Of course, this this is an interesting process. And if you go all of these steps, it can be uh, so successful, so important for your company. Um, yes, this. Is a brief information, of course, just I want to make an introduction to you, uh, as I promised on the call uh, of my uh, webinar. But, uh, of course, there are different grants. And, and, of course, it's not easy to explain all grants. It's just AIC grants, which I talked about. But there are some other Horizon grants. You can apply according to your subject, your production, whatever. 
So there is a link here. You can check the European Union portal about that, and you can check the opportunities there. And if you, if you can find, you can go on. And please contact your local European Union authority and find local grants because it is they are easier uh, to get that kind of grants. Uh, that's all. Uh, I'll try to make an introduction, not too long. I don't want to take too much time. If you have question, I want to answer that kind that questions. Do you have questions? Please uh, send to me. Okay, I hope generally I can give some information about uh, this grant process. Of course, it's not easy to do, but if you have questions, oh, I have yeah, some questions, I think. Are there agencies that help in preparing the application? Yes. First of all, please go to your local uh, authority, which is who is working with European Union authorities, because they are helping you. In that point, generally in different countries, there are different rules, but they are helping and it is free. As a startup, you, you have to reach that kind of things. Of course, there are other agencies which are giving some services to you, but if, please be a, understand their uh, approach. It is important because they can sometimes they try to sell some uh, hope to you about these applications. They don't really help you because of that you have to understand which a grant you are applying and what is your eligibility and what is your chance. It is important. So, so yes, of course, there are some uh, agencies, private agencies can help you. But first, start with your local agency, uh, which will support you. I hope I can answer. Yes. Other questions or I hope uh, if you have questions, you can ask me because uh, I'd like to help you. This, this is my mail address. You can ask me because, uh, as I said, I, I leave these problems. So you can ask me whatever you want in that point. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. And see you.